This is a tech review, a biohack review for anybody that's interested in better sleep, not just more sleep. I am laying on what is essentially the Tesla of beds. This is the Pod Pro from 8 Sleep, and it includes a mattress, a topper that has all the sensors that measures your heart rate and your breathing, whether you're in REM sleep or you're tossing and turning. This thing vibrates. It's a vibrating bed, not that kind. It's an alarm clock. It heats and cools you. Dual temperature zone control for two people's preferences. The topper has like an umbilical that attaches to this hub and the hub connects to your phone. Okay, why don't we move this party somewhere with slightly less of a porn vibe. Okay, so for those of you that follow the channel, you know I'm big into biohacking. And one of the areas that has been impacted the most by this quantified self movement is sleep quality, sleep science. And Eight Sleep is the front runner far and away, just like Tesla collects all the driving data from the cars, Eight Sleep collects all this sleep data and uses AI to crunch the numbers and figure out exactly what makes you sleep better. Hey, real quick, this is not gonna be an infomercial. Yes, 8sleep did send me the bed and I will make a commission if you use my link below and that'll save you a hundred bucks as well. But I'm not gonna go into every detail, heart rate, variability tracking and why you should care about that. There's a website for that. I'm just gonna tell you my experience, tell you a few things I like about the bed, a couple of areas I think it could improve and you can make up your own mind. This is not a sales pitch. Okay, back to the, yeah. So the mattress comes all rolled up like a lot of memory foam mattresses do and then you get a separate box with the pod and the topper in it. There's some, I guess, these are the tubes for the water cooling or heating and a fan. So I hope this thing doesn't get too hot. Okay, uh, that was pretty painless. This is bright. It's a little bit smaller than the other king size bed that we had in here. And it's like super way cushier, which uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like. And they've got a bunch of really easy to follow videos in the app. And most people whose bed is not up in the wall, it's just gonna be really easy. Of course, with my special circumstances, this studio is the bedroom. Let me show you. This is the hose that connects to the head of the bed there. And it needs to come out and connect to this. If I close the bed, this is the crevice. Like there's no way that hose is coming through there. So I had to whip out the man skills, break out the tools. I got this thing that it vibrates so fast. It just, it pokes holes in things. It's cool. Is this what these were originally for? I'd rather have regular eyewear. The smell of burning wood, I actually love it. it. It was like an added bonus, help me sleep. So once I cut the hole in the wood, I was finally able to connect the umbilical. I don't know what they call it, but I'm calling it an umbilical. There's fluids going through there. If you're thinking about putting it in a cabinet like I did, just know that it does kind of heat up when it's working and the fan kicks on. You're gonna wanna open the cabinet door when you go to sleep. Real quick about the fan, it's quiet. It's way quieter than the AC. And because the bed's keeping you cool, you don't have to have the AC on as high. So the net effect is my room is quieter throughout the night. Okay, I finally got the pod in. I got the hose behind the bed there. I'm not sure if it's gonna get crimped. Final test, will the bed go up? One way to find out. Good enough. At first, it's real soft. You're like, oh no, this is the softest mattress I've ever had. But 
After a few hours, it firms up. And then after you put the topper on it, that adds some extra firmness as well. And once you fill the topper up with the water that goes through the tiny little tubes like a radiator, that actually firms it up even more. By the time I was sleeping in it with the water in it, that was where I was finally satisfied with how firm it was. I like a real firm mattress. All right, let me quickly tell you five things I love about this bed, three things it could improve on, and whether or not I'm gonna keep using it. Here's the things I like. Number one, temperature control. Dual temperature control. Ooh, I don't wanna be cliche and say game changer, but game changer. First of all, I didn't think it was gonna be cold enough. I thought there's no way in hell this thing will get cold enough. So I set it to the very coldest setting. The app was like, are you sure? And I was like, yes. But it got so cold, I couldn't sleep. I had to keep setting it higher until I finally fell asleep. So trust me, you'll never use it on the coldest setting. It really works. I couldn't believe it. I can tell, but I can also see in the data, I'm falling asleep faster. I'm sleeping deeper into the morning. Plus, we don't have to have the AC on as high, so we save money. And Chanty and I sleep at much different temperatures, so we can both dial in our perfect settings. <sighs> Temperature control, top of the list. Number two, the vibrating alarm. It's amazing. Instead of hearing Chanty's phone erupt with the same music every morning, sometimes I don't notice it and I sleep right through. That was not happening with her phone alarm. It's also nicer to wake up with a gentle buzzing. And the other thing apparently you can do, I haven't tried yet, but you can connect this to Alexa. And when it senses that you're kind of waking up, it'll turn the lights on. So I'm gonna hook that up soon. I think that's cool. Number three, you don't have to remember to turn on your sleep tracker. So you know, you can just pass out drunk and still get the sleep data to see how that affects your sleep. Very important for me. I've been using an app called uh, Sleep Cycle and it tracks a bunch of the same stuff. Uh, it doesn't get your heart rate variability and whatnot, but sometimes you forget to turn it on and then you just miss the data. Number four, it gives you recommendations. So when you're setting the temperatures, it'll tell you people like you tend to fall asleep faster at this temperature. <laughs> That's cool, because what do I know? Number five, it gets better over time. So I'm about to list three things that I think it could improve on. And the cool thing is, it might just have those features soon because of an over the air update. Okay, things it could improve on. Number one, it should know when someone's in the bed or not. The other day, Chanty gets up out of bed before her alarm goes off, she's starting her day, and then her side starts to vibrate when she's not even in the bed, waking me up, and then I had to go into the app and change over to her profile and stop the buzzing. You'd think if the sensors are tracking your heart rate variability, they would know if you're in the bed or not and decide whether the alarm goes on or not. I think that's something simple Eight Sleep could fix in an update. Okay, second thing they can improve on, I was out of town and my dog slept in my side of the bed totally threw off my sleep data. That's a 25 pound dog. I don't know if the sensors are sensitive enough to pick up the difference between a 175 pound dude and a 25 pound dog. I know I'm nitpicking, but that would be nice. Third thing they can improve on, the app sleep cycle that I used on my phone had a cool feature where it recorded your audio if you were snoring or coughing. And there was more than a few times where I had a weird dream and talked in my sleep and it was kind of funny to listen to it the next day. I've woken up with a joke idea and just set it into the air and it recorded it. I know that's way overkill for a sleep app, but it would be easy for them to include. Final thoughts, am I going back to my old mattress? No. Would I spend my own money on this mattress? I'll tell you this, I wouldn't spend that much money if it was just for the tracking features or the vibrating alarm. That stuff is cool, but what I would spend my money on is the temperature control. The bed is worth it just for that. Look, I think some people are gonna get this bed just because it's the most technology anyone's ever packed into a mattress and they just want the best, the most, futuristic bed ever. I've Googled around and I haven't found any bed that has this much tech packed in, but you can actually get a lot of the technology by paying a third of the price and just getting a mattress topper instead of the mattress. So if you like the mattress that you're on right now, but you'd like the tech, you can just get the topper. And if you want more than my opinion, I ambushed my girlfriend to see what she thought. Okay, mm -hmm. honest. 
opinion, would you keep this bed, the eight sleep bed, or would you want to go back to our old mattress? I want to keep this bed, the eight sleep bed. And why is that? I really like the temperature control, and I also really love the how the bed wakes me up by uh, the vibration. It's kind of calming in a way, I don't know. It's just better than hearing a phone alarm go off. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I like not being woken up by your loud ass music. <laughs> oh, the other thing is the app has got a bunch of cool info on like meditating and breathing and like pre-sleep routines to help you fall asleep faster and get better, more consistent sleep. So. That's pretty cool. Again, the link in the description saves you a hundred bucks on either one, the Pod Pro or just the topper. Yeah, that's it. Let me know what you thought. And if there's other biohacking topics that you'd like me to cover, I actually just started taking peptides to increase my HGH production. And I'm doing home microneedling. Yeah, needles in the face. But if there's other stuff you'd like me to make a video on, let me know in the comments. Um, Fonzie. Is there anything else? What do we miss? Do we miss anything? Are we good? What are you looking at? What's over there? Look in the camera. Look, you gotta connect with the camera. You gotta look in the lens. Really connect. Is, am I boring you? Bro, oh. Oh. I was born in the city, I was raised on its edges My pop work is life when it's gone Box up on love in its center If I could live here forever, think it'd be for the better I love the weather, even though it's fog 24-7 I love the people, this is city I met all my best friends And I wanna thank every brick I wanna thank every entrance to every building that I step in In this city of mine, oh you most my best moments in life